Oh, Alex Garland is one of my favorite directors working today. Uh, he has a new film out. It's called Men. This was actually my most anticipated film. Well, no, no, no. Holy shit. That is a bold statement. It, it was not my most anticipated film of the year. It was one of my most anticipated films of the year. Ever since I saw that trailer, it just it screamed out to me. I just, I don't know. It just, it was right up my alley. I saw it last night on opening night. I was going, I was going to do um, uh, my video yesterday. I saw it out of town and I got home. I was just hungry and I wanted to eat and go to bed. So here I am talking about it right now. Uh, I will not be talking about spoilers. The film itself is sort of spoilery, but it's not really... It, this, this is not a spoiler, but it will leave you with more questions than answers. And that's fine because I like a good metaphorical film. I like a film that makes me think. I don't mind thinking as long as the different outcomes that come out of my head are actually probable instead of like, you know, I just feel like an idiot for thinking them. You know, like if it's something that I think about and I'm like, okay, that actually could have happened. And then I feel smart and there's like a light bulb ding. I like films like that. But when it's films that, you know, it forces me to think and I'm thinking of like 25 different outcomes and I'm like, ooh, ooh, then there's the problem. Men, I did not have that problem with. I, I think I know a little bit about what's going on, possibly. I mean, of course, I probably don't. But in my head, I have something in my head that makes sense. So it would be worth doing a spoiler discussion. I probably won't, though. Uh, but let's talk about men. Let's, let's talk about just what did I think about the film. Um, I thought it was great. I thought it was... It, it's definitely not Alex Garland's best film. Uh, that's I definitely think Ex Machina is my favorite, uh, in, in just in my opinion. Uh, and I do think it's better than Annihilation, though. I, Annihilation is good, but I don't know. I did have some issues with it. Um, one thing about Alex Garland's films that I've noticed is a lot of his films are set in a, like one location or just a few locations. It kind of makes sense because the special effects for his films are really, really, really good. Um, I don't know if that's, if I'm on to something, I don't know if that's like, you know, okay, well, you know, most of his budget goes to his effects and stuff, so maybe they can't afford going to more locations. I'm probably wrong on that as well. But that's sort of, you know, one thing that I've noticed about his films. And Men is no exception. It's set in one house, one apartment, one pub, and a church. Uh, in the woods, basically. Um, so it doesn't really go many places, and it doesn't have to. That like that's one thing that I love about Alex Garland is you know he he takes what he has and he makes the most of it. Um, Men is about a woman; her um, husband passes away uh, from an accident. Uh, well, just I don't think it's a spoiler, but I'm not going to say anything. Uh, and she's basically going to the countryside to sort of heal for the next week on her own, staying in this nice countryside house. Uh, and then after that, it goes to shit. The film stars Jessica Bu uh, Buckley and uh, Roy Kenner. Roy Kenner shines in this film. If you've seen it, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And you're basically just watching her being stalked and sort of having these interactions with multiple Roy Kenners because he plays a bunch of different characters in this um, that's basically the premise. The very beginning of it reminded me a lot of a Tarkovsky film where she's just walking in the woods and soaking in nature. And I can see where that's going to be a problem with the mainstream audience, with, with people that are not used to seeing a film like that. Because me, I love a good slow burn film. I'm the type of person, I'm like, just accept art for what it is. If you don't like it, you don't like it. Doesn't mean it's bad. Just move on. And I think that's where a lot of people are going to have issues with with men is it is a very, very slow burn film. It's probably the slowest of all of Alex Garland's films. And that's fine. It's probably meant to be that way. Um, the thing about it, there's not getting into any spoilers. There's a scene in this film. It's it's the it, it's the body horror. It, the, there's body horror in this film. Um, and it's one of those scenes where you, if you know, you know. Uh, it's, I'm going to be completely honest. I think it's the best body horror I have ever seen in a film. At least close. Top three. It was really good. I, I thought it was done just... I just thought it was done terrifically. 
Uh, and it really will get you thinking. I mean, it. I don't know. It just, just the things that happen in this film, and it's humorous. It, it's humorous too. Given the subject matter, the subject matter is not humorous, by the way. Uh, it, the film goes pretty deep, um, but there's a scene in the pub in particular that made me, it made me chuckle. I thought it was really, really funny. Uh, but is Alex Garland's Men worth the watch? Yes, if you especially if you already love Ex Machina and Annihilation, um, keep in mind this is not a review. I don't I don't do reviews anymore, but I recommend seeing the film. I I, I think it's new and it's different. It, it's not necessarily new. It's been done before. I just don't think in this type of way because I mean there's slow burn horror films where you sort of have to put pieces together and stuff. I mean you you know that there that's out there, but there was something special about men and. I don't know. I really liked it. So I'm excited to see what he does next. I know it's, uh, I think it's called Civil War. It's another A24 film. Um, so I'm excited to see what that ends up being. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a thumbs up and maybe subscribe. Hope you guys are staying safe out there. And let me know what you guys thought of men down in the comments below. But catch you next time.